Hello, welcome to Cards by Kendra. Thank you for joining me today. I will be showing you the difference between using Distress Ink versus Distress Oxide Ink on photo paper. Now, I made a card for National Siblings Day for my sister using a giraffe theme. This card says, Hello sister, what's up? I used the giraffe stencil from Whimsy Stamps and I used the Zoo Review stamp set from Stampin' Up! and also I used the Thoughtful Banners stamp set. Now this was my attempt using watercolor paper with Walnut Stain Distress ink. I wasn't really happy with the way it turned out. It was um, kind of faded looking, but I think it's because I added water to it. Now this is my first try using Distress Oxide ink on photo paper, but it was a really cloudy finish as you can see in some of the spots here. I let it completely dry before I wiped it with a wet paper towel and this is what it ended up looking like. Now between the spots it was white because I let it fully dry so I ended up using a marker to fill in those um, between the spots. Here I'm using Distress Ink using my mini blending tool. This is just regular Distress Ink in Vintage Photo and I've sped it up obviously. I wish that the blending would go this fast um, but with regular distress ink you don't have to have you don't have to worry about any kind of film on the top like you do with the dress, distress oxide so this is my finished um, background using just regular distress ink and the one above is the one using distress oxide now remember i've already wiped the distress oxide with a paper towel so i wanted to show you the watercolor paper in comparison to the two backgrounds made on the photo paper the photo paper is much brighter so I wanted to show you the Distress Oxide ink used on the photo paper and how it gets a film on it when it's first applied. I started out using a sponge dauber, but it wasn't going fast enough for me. So I decided to switch over to the Picket Fence Life Changing Blender Brush. This is one of the brushes that came in my set. I got a set that had a stencil in it. So it, it, was, a, it, it was a really nice set and I used this um, most of the time I was just trying to see if I could make the fur look again like I did the very first time I made it with the sponge dauber, but I'm, I'm kind of an impatient person, which is why I speed up most of my videos because when I'm watching YouTube videos, I usually watch it um, in double time. So um, I don't like to make long videos. I'm a really sh short, sweet, get it done kind of a person. But um, I'm almost done here. And when I remove the stencil, as you can see that the ink is starting to get that film on it so the first time i did this i let the ink completely dry before i wiped it off with a wet paper towel this time i'm going to remove the stencil and immediately wipe it off and it really brightens it up here i've got to remove the tape the low tack tape that i used to stick the, the stencil to the photo paper but um, as you can see when i'm wiping this off it starts to kind of blend in the color into the white areas and I really liked this the way this turned out I don't I didn't have to fill in the white areas with a with a lighter colored marker this gave it a, a more realistic look so um, I'm, I'll be making some more of these giraffe cards but I um, just wanted to show you kind of like the magic of using the distress oxide on photo paper I really really like it and I hope you do too so these are the two stamp sets that I use, the Zoo Review and the Thoughtful Banners. I used the Hello Sister Sentiments from the Thoughtful Banners, and I embossed both the giraffe and the sentiments on there. I used the Classic Label Punch from Stampin' Up, but I shortened it, so I just put the end back through the punch so that it would fit better with my sentiment that says, What's up? I used the stitch rectangle dies for the giraffe piece and its frame and chocolate chip was the color that I used because it matched the walnut stain the best. For complete instructions on how I made this card, please visit my blog. It can be found on my website www.cardsbykendra.com. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Happy card making.